Maestro first images reveal Bradley Cooper as Leonard Bernstein. Netflix released a first look at director and Academy Award nominee Bradley Cooper's second feature film Maestro. The biopic follows the life and love story between the American conductor, composer and humanitarian, Lena Bernstein, Cooper, and his wife Felicia Montelegre, portrayed in the film by award nominee Carey Mulligan, The Great Gatsby. The images offer a look at the couple in various stages of their lives. Originally, a biographical film on the Broadway composer was set to be directed by the renowned Steven Spielberg, and Cooper was set to star in it. However, after Cooper's directorial debut's box office success for the romance drama A Star Is Born, Cooper told Variety, he approached Spielberg and said, I always felt like I could play a conductor, but may I research the material and see if I can write it and direct it? Would you let me do that? If the images are any indication, Cooper's return to the director's chair is going to be another success. The images tease viewers with a glimpse of Cooper and Mulligan completely transformed, transported to the 40s when the couple first met at a party. Mulligan looks timeless as the Chilean-American actress, Monty Legger, seen sitting cross-legged, casually gazing into the camera wielded by Cooper, still dressed in his Bernstein attire. Other images highlight the impressive talent of Maestro's makeup department, showing an unrecognizable Cooper slouched at a desk, smoking a cigarette in the uncanny likeness of the great composer. Bernstein was a Harvard graduate and the music director of the New York Philharmonic and the first American-born conductor to lead a major orchestra. He went on to become the first music conductor to share the symphony with the television audience, conducting the Boston Symphony Orchestra at Carnegie Hall in 1949. Bernstein was a pioneer of orchestra and was an influential icon of his time, as well as an active humanitarian. He protested the Vietnam War, worked in support of civil rights and raised money and awareness for HIV forward slash AIDS, to name a few of his contributions to his time, attracting the attention of names like Spielberg, Cooper and Martin Scorsese, Goodfellas, to his biographical film. Cooper has been working on the film for the last four and a half years with writer Josh Singer, The Post. Recently it was announced that Matt Bomber, American Horror Story, has signed on to the project as well as Meyer Hawk, Stranger Things, who will be playing Bernstein, and Monty Legra's daughter, Jamie Bernstein. Maestro is produced by Spielberg, Scorsese, Christy Makasco Krieger, Cooper, Fred Berner, and Amy Durning. Not much else is known about the film's cast, but the photos hint at the romanticism and reverence that Cooper's direction lends to the biopic. Filming is currently underway for Maestro, which will be released in 2023. Top Gun Maverick marks the best opening of Tom Cruise's entire career. Top Gun Maverick has now made its debut at the international box office and, over the weekend, not only has it exceeded expectations from Paramount but also set a record in the long illustrious career of star Tom Cruise. As reported by Deadline, opening in 62 different international box office markets, the Top Gun sequel has garnered $124 million marking the biggest international opening weekend in Cruise's career beating out the previous title holder, Mission, Impossible Fallout. This huge number adds to the film's global total for the weekend through Sunday which is $248 million. The movie has cemented itself as one of Paramount's biggest international launches also and the studio's second best opening weekend overall outside of Transformers Age of Extinction. The UK led the box office internationally for the film followed by France, Australia, Japan, Germany, and the Middle East. Top Gun, Maverick is the highly anticipated sequel to the 1986 film Top Gun and sees the return of multiple characters alongside a slew of new names. The film includes reprisals from Cruise and co-star Val Kilmer alongside Jennifer Connelly, Miles Teller, Glenn Powell, Monica Barbro, and John Hamm. While Maverick is currently at the top demolishing the box office, the film does have some tough competition set to emerge soon. 
On the 10th of June, Universal Studios will launch Jurassic World Dominion as the third film in the Jurassic World trilogy. This being the case, it remains to be seen how long Top Gun can hold its top spot. You can check out Top Gun Maverick in theaters around the globe now. Mel Gibson teases a four-hour director's cut of a brave hat. Mel Gibson spent this past weekend in Scotland, touching down in the country for the first time in 28 years, where he shot Braveheart and became something of a national hero in the process, despite the historical epic's voluminous inaccuracies and creative liberties. The sprawling saga of William Wallace was a monster-sized hit at the time of release, bringing in $213 million at the box office before winning four Academy Awards from 10 nominations, including Best Picture and Best Director. At 178 minutes including credits, Braveheart isn't the shortest movie by any stretch, but Gibson has hinted that he'd be interested in putting together a longer version. The 66-year-old reflected on the legacy of Braveheart and admitted that his assembly cut of the sweeping tale was four hours in length. In the editing suite, he managed to whittle it down substantially to 195 minutes, before an exchange with then Paramount boss Sherry Lansing saw him get the scissors out. As per Gibson, the CEO asked the actor and filmmaker if the borderline indulgent length of Braveheart had audiences getting too far in front of the story being told, stripping away some dramatic tension as a result. Initially, Gibson was irritated that he was being told how to do finish his own passion project, but after sleeping on it, he took Lansing's advice on board and snipped even more scenes. However, he did tease that a four-hour edition of Braveheart was something he'd be interested in seeing slapped together, and with extended versions of popular films all the rage these days. The Longest Night Spanish-language thriller sets release date at Netflix. Set those countdown timers and get ready for Netflix's upcoming show The Longest Night, which stars Luis Corlejo and Alberto Aman. The Spanish-language series will premiere on the streamer Friday, July the 8th. As part of the date announcement, Netflix shared a brief teaser for what viewers can expect. The teaser opens with a man glancing at a clock ominously. The first text to appear says, One night, followed by a countdown that begins at 8 hours for the characters. Interspersed between additional text cards, the teaser provides brief glimpses at the show's recurring characters as they become locked into the prison with no power and no obvious means of escape. As the teaser reaches its conclusion, the longest night shows people on fire, a man beating something or someone, and another person screaming and being carried away. The only dialogue comes at the end, as a man says, it's going to be a long night, Hugo. Set in Montebaruker, a psychiatric prison, the six-episode series follows a group of people who are completely cut off from all outside communication. Meanwhile, there are armed men surrounding the building with the primary goal of catching a serial killer named Simon Lago. The Longest Night series shares its release month with two additional action-forward-slash-thriller projects from Netflix, including Anthony and Joe Russo's spy thriller The Grey Man, and the live-action sci-fi-forward-slash-horror series Resident Evil. Prior to The Longest Night, several of the cast members appeared in other Netflix originals. Viewers may recognize Aman for his role as Panko Herrera in Narcos and Narcos, Mexico, both of which ran for three seasons from 2015 to 2017, and 2018 to 2021, respectively. Corlejo starred in the streamer's original movie Below Zero, which was released in 2021 while José Luis García Pérez can be seen in the more recent series In From the Cold, released early this year, where he plays Felipe Calero. Maria Caballero, Fran Berenger, David Solans, Roman Reimar, and Perez star alongside Corlejo and Aman. Behind the screens, The Longest Night is directed by Oscar Pedrazer from a screenplay written by Xos Morazer and Victoriano Sierra Ferrero. The Longest Night will arrive on Netflix on July the 8th.